I was born in Haywood in southwest Victoria and I come from the Gunijamara tribe. Um, I lived there till I was about 17 and then I uh, moved to Melbourne for football. Um, from there I've been playing at Essendon, I've uh, just recently retired, been there for 10 years. Um, I, my dad was always um, the first person I always looked up to, he was a really good footballer back in his day and uh, he was someone that I looked up to and also my uncles that um, who pretty much taught me how to play football, you know, they were people that I looked up to but I did have people, uh, family members that did go on and play in the VFL, AFL and um, probably the most well known was uh, my great grandfather, Pastor Sir Doug Nichols, and he played for Fitzroy and also played for Victoria as well. Yeah, that's where it all started. Um, that leadership um, in junior football under 16s and then sort of being able to go on from under 18s and then into Essendon and being a part of the leadership group there. And um, well, I guess with leadership, I think where I sort of got that from is I've had really great mentors around me and, and great family support and you know, it's really helped my leadership skills. I guess you know, a good leader, in my view, is, is someone that their actions speak louder than their words. Um, that's something that I've always tried to do with myself is, is you know, if I say I'm going to do something, you know, I, I do it and um, I like to let my actions speak louder than my words. I started Payback Records after um, uh, meeting an old schoolmate, uh, Jimba Possum Burns, and hadn't seen him for a few years. And he um, asked him what he was doing, and he said, "I just finished recording an album, um, his album Warrior for Life." And you know, I had to listen to it, and just it was the first time I heard Indigenous hip hop. And before that, I was a big fan of um, more so American hip hop and R&B, urban music. And um, you know, listening to Indigenous hip hop, I was, I was really you know, keen to support it. And so I started working with him and I, I, he started teaching me about the music industry and then what I noticed that there was a lot of um, other young Indigenous rappers out there but probably weren't getting opportunities because they didn't have a manager so um, you know, I brought everyone together and uh, we talked about what we needed and, and we needed our own record label to be able to promote, put our music out there and so that's where I went away and set up Payback Records. And You know, it, where it really helped me was um, being able to uh, put on a national tour with uh, Coloured Stone and Young Warriors and, and was able to sort of travel around the country and do five shows. In, uh, we did a show in Brisbane, Alice Springs, Adelaide, Melbourne and Sydney. And um, I think for the Young Warriors to be able to um, travel with a, a big band like Coloured Stone, it was a great experience for them um, to be able to learn. And you know, since that time, the Young Warriors have been on, been on two national tours around the country last year. and. Um, they've probably done around 20 shows all around the country, maybe even more. Um, so, you know, it was, a, it was just a great start to be able to... Um, that, that really helped kick-start the careers of, of young warriors and um, also pay back records. I guess, you know, my legacy would be to... Um, you know, I had an impact on other people's lives and um, I gave other people opportunities that they probably wouldn't have, have um, gotten. So. You know, that, that's something that I'm, I'm really um, passionate about is opening doors for other people so they can fulfil their potential. I guess um, you know, what I'd love to see in the future for Indigenous people is to, I guess, have more of a role um, in the decision making. Um, uh, I guess that impacts you know, our children and, and our, like our people and our culture and um, our elders. So you know, that's something that I'm really I can really see happening in the future with just um, you know, working with so many young people and there's so, so much um, leadership potential out there and just you know, to be able to work with those young people and, and see what they're doing and, and where they want to go, you know, it's something that I'm, I'm really passionate to sort of keep going. Mm -hmm.